Alright guys, this is the LTD deck. Um, stay until the end of the video, I have some important updates. Uh, so, without further ado, let's get into the blue LTD deck review. Um, so here's the, the box, you can see. Uh, I really like how there's, there's no writing on the sides, it just makes the box look a whole lot cleaner. This box is very simple, you can see on the front. And the seal, uh, those little spots, just, there my camera focused. You can actually see, maybe, that those letters actually say LTD. Um, for some reason it actually took me quite a while to figure that out. Um, I thought it was just pattern work. Um, but let's get into the extra cards. Uh, so these are the Jokers. I'll let you take a look at those. Alright, those are the Jokers. Uh, you also get a Queen of Hearts, but with the red back. And I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison in just a second. So yeah, you get an extra Queen of Hearts, that's pretty cool. And you get that same, or similar ad card. I'm not sure if it's the same as the other, like, Madison Rounders deck. Um, but let's look at the back design. So this is the red back design, back design sorry. Um, the older, rarer version. And the, this is the blue one. Uh, the unlimited, newer version. So you can see the, the red pops a bit more, but I still like the blue card a lot. Um, I, I guess I would pick the red over the blue, but just slightly. I like them both a lot. So again, this is the back design. It has a thin border around the main design, and it fades out towards the edges, which is really cool, actually. Uh, the borders are really thick, which makes it really good for magic. If you reverse a card, it's not as easily seen. Uh, I can't find it, actually. There it is. Okay, so that's a pro for magic. So here are the uh, cards themselves. Uh, where you normally have black cards, so the spades and the clubs are actually a light gray, you can see. And the indices in the corners are very thin, and they're printed close to the corner, which makes them look good in spreads, and also fans. Um, so yeah, these are the face cards. Uh, they're the same normal design uh, as bicycles, but recolored. The same gray as the uh, spades and clubs. Okay. Uh, I really actually like the look of this. It's not uh, too different where you couldn't use it with magic. You can still use it in magic, which is always really nice. So that's the look. Let's get into the handling. Alright, here's the handling portion of the blue LTD deck. Like all illusionist uh, decks, this card has a very thick stock, uh, which makes it good for like card twirls and that stuff, if you're into it. And also springs and dribbles. Um, okay, so the stock is, is really nice. Uh, the finish is also very smooth and feels nice in the hands, so you can pull off fans and spreads, uh, and yeah, uh, so I really do like the handling of this deck. Uh, farrowing ability is really nice, you can get perfect farrows pretty much every time, like you can see there. Um, and then bridge nice with that nice thick illusionist sock. Spreads on the tables are very easy, and flips are pretty good. Um, they do kind of stick a little bit. Um, so yeah, like table work, cuts, and uh, shuffles on the table, or close-up mat, are really nice. Uh, this deck overall has a thicker stock than the Madison Rounders, and I would say a bit smoother of a finish. Just, just a tiny bit. It still does clump a bit, which you can see more with these uh, thick borders, although they are a bit more forgiving than the rounders themselves. So again, springs, dribbles, fans, all very easy. Overall, guys, I really do like this deck. Uh, if you got the original red LTD deck, um, I would definitely recommend picking up the blue deck, especially if you were fond of the red LTD deck. Uh, it's, this deck is really similar. I do like the back design of the red one a bit more, just because it, it pops a bit more. Okay, so overall, this deck is, is great. 
Fact design is a bit boring, but it's perfect for magic. So if you're a magician, go get it. If you're a cardist, eh, there, there are some better options for you. Um, but if you're a collector, this is still a pretty good buy. Uh, it'll look great along with your rare red LTD. Okay guys, I hope this review helped, and now I just have a quick couple things to say. Um, first of all, thank you so much. My channel is, is really growing. Uh, it, it's, I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, I just reached 20,000 total video views. That's a, that's a really huge milestone. Uh, I never thought I would get to 20,000. And I'm right around the 380 uh, subscriber mark, which is also pretty cool. Uh, you guys, you guys rock. I'm going to do a contest when I get to 500 subscribers. Uh, so you know, tell your friends, uh, get excited about the contest, the prizes will be, um, the best that I've had. Um, so get excited for the 500 subscriber contest. And also, um, my trick, uh, Ultimate Pennywise, I guess it's not my trick. Um, but, uh, I think I might reveal that soon. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you when yet. Uh, so yeah, that's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and see you next time.